What's up, friends, family, and frenemies? It's your girl, Dr. Shauna, and today we're going to get into a controversial topic, but I'm going to give you all a different perspective. However, before we start the show, I'm going to need you to stay tuned for a brief message. Before we get started, I'm going to need you all to head over to my store where you will find some of my most popular products, such as my pheromone perfume, helping you to attract that special someone into your life, or my massage oil candles. Perfectly formulated so it never burns the skin. There's nothing better than feeling your partner's touch all over your body. Are you struggling in relationships? No worries. Head over to my Relationship Academy where you can select from a number of courses to help you find that special someone or enhance your current relationship experience. You can find both of these stores by clicking the link in my bio. Now, let's get started. Inflation is at an all-time high and the cost of living has impacted many families. But how does the rise in costs impact relationships? Currently, there is a group of people who will benefit immensely from the change in the market, and they are called hobosexuals. A hobosexual is a person who enters into a relationship with you with the sole interest of having a place to stay. There are a bunch of hobosexuals, and they aren't all men who are broke. Hobosexuals can be women, educated people, employed people, are selfish people with a housing agenda. But did you know the rise in the cost of living is sure to bring plenty of hobosexuals into the relationship market? In this video, I'm going to do two things. First, I'm going to highlight some warning signs for you to look out for so you won't make the mistake of dating a hobosexual. And then I'm going to identify the type of people who are susceptible to the strategic tactics of the hobosexual. We're going to start with hobosexuals who are women. We tend to highlight hobosexuals who are men because men are socialized to be providers. And because of this reason, many men get fooled and bedazzled by the female hobosexual. She's the woman who will go on dates with you for the freebies and for free dinners. She doesn't make a livable wage, so she cannot afford to support herself. She has never maintained her own home and she has always lived with men even if she doesn't like him. The man typically gets fooled by this type of woman because he wants to save her. He only realizes that he's being used when he is in too deep. Now, let's get into the warning signs of a homosexual man. This is the man who will move the relationship forward at record speed just so he can get you under his spell. He will bombard you with his sob stories of his struggles despite being a good man who looks out for other people, putting himself last to put others first. Not only will he make your toes curl, but he will fix things around your house, support you in your parenting, play the partner role just so he can have a place to lie his head. But don't be fooled. Not all homosexual men are unemployed. There are some men who are financially irresponsible, and because of this, they are not able to maintain their own housing. And just like the unemployed man, the homosexual who is financially irresponsible brings with him relationship stress, anxiety, heartbreak, and pain. Now, who are the people who tend to fall victim to the homosexual? First, people who are gluttons for beauty and physical attraction. They tend to overlook major flaws and red flags. Then we have those who are gullible and have people-pleasing tendencies. They want to see the good in people and always believe they can help others to do better in life. The most popular victims are the desperate and lonely. These people are usually attached to the outcome and they will do just about anything to achieve their desired goal of being coupled. And let's not forget the women who believe they're running out of time because their biological clocks are ticking. Are the man who has aged and realizes he is still single, alone and in need of companionship. Being coupled is a relationship goal many men and women wish to achieve. And there is a price to pay for ignoring yellow and red flags. 